Flash interview com Alberta Brianti, que acaba de vencer o Campeonato do Mundo por equipas com a seleção italiana. Alberta, congratulations for the title, for the win today as well. How are you feeling now that you are a world champion in seniors again? Yeah, I'm well, very happy. We did, uh, I think, a great, uh, great job this week uh, with all the teams. Uh, we enjoy a lot uh, to stay here. Yeah, it was uh, not easy. Every match was, uh, you need to, to win it, you know. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we are very happy. We disappointed for uh, Rita that she got injured, uh, but she can go, she could play a very good match, but then uh, can happen. So, but we are happy for the title. You, you guys won here two years ago. I think the, the, you guys won last year as well. So it seems like yes. you are unbeatable. So <laughs> what's, what's the key to, to, beat, to beat you? Yeah, we, we enjoy, you know, we are good, great, good friend. We enjoy to play. And uh, every year that is going is not easy because you're getting older. <laughs> but we try to, to be fit and uh, yeah, we keep the same team. You know, the, the team uh, who win, I'd like to continue with that. Yeah. And, and how about Portugal for, for you? Uh, when you played, you, you won a title in Guimarães. I, I don't know if you remember, and then you made a couple of finals as well. So, how was your relationship with, with our country for you? I really like uh, to stay here, to, to play here. Uh, I remember many years ago, I played also in Faro. Yeah. There yeah. was a 10,000. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Uh, valid, uh, also, Valido Lobo. I played, then I won the title. It was my first 25, I remember very well, hmm. in Guimarães. And uh, when I see Portugal, I say I want to go there. <laughs> so when I see also Lisbon to this year, and I say, oh, finally, yes, again, <laughs> yes, again, and uh, yeah, it's very special. And this is a special court as well, especially for us Portuguese people, of course. But how is it for you to play in such a, a beautiful court outside? It is very nice. I mean, uh, the facilities here are so great. And uh, yeah, it was the uh, first time we play on center <laughs> because uh, two years ago we didn't play, but this year say okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of, of course, Portugal deserves to play there. And uh, yeah, it was very nice. I really enjoy watching you play. It seems like you, you quit lanes like just a couple of months ago. <laughs> how was oh. your, how are your, how are your how feelings about tennis? Uh, how do you feel on court? Uh, how happy um, are you? Yeah, about I'm that? working like a coach, so it's uh, not okay. easy every year to to try the to try the, the time to you know to to practice but you need to to do it uh, if you want to play some matches like this so but i still enjoy it and uh, if when you have friends uh, you know like <laughs> my team <laughs> coming i i like it a lot do you work for the federation or are you based in a club Where i work for a club in milano it is okay. tennis club milano yes yeah, okay. one of the most important club in milano where there is a very big uh, tournament, Bonfiglio, uh, Junior 18. Okay. okay. Yes, nice club where uh, I mean, and there is 30 years I'm, I'm there. I was practicing there when I was playing, oh. and now I'm working there. Uh, yeah. And are you working with professional players? Or, some, uh, yeah, some, also some youngs. Yeah. Okay. And what do you prefer to, to work with kids, to work with sometimes teens? Sometimes with the professional, sometimes with, better with the kids. You know, it's a good combination. <laughs> I, I like uh, both. So I guess you are one of the many reasons to to be from a country with so much success on tennis nowadays. Also, secret the what is the secret in Italy? Because it seems like you guys have great players all around. Yannick, Cocciarella, uh, of course. We had a very great passion for the sport. You know, there are so many people that have passion, and uh, that is that one that the thing that's move. You know, you need to have passion to, to work, to be patient with the youngs now, especially. But uh, any, I don't know, it's in our DNA, you know, <laughs> something special. And uh, when when you see, when you have guys with like Sinner, Berrettini, and uh, Coboli, like uh, Musetti, and then now Paulini, mm -hmm. she's doing very good uh, work. I mean, it's like um, we are more stimulated of this, you know. I think uh, that. All the people like to to, to find if they, they have a way to, to reach their goal. You know? but, but are you surprised with what's happening this season? Because it seems like even when things go wrong for someone like Yannick uh, in Roland Garros or Wimbledon, there comes another Italian that gets a great result, uh, even at the Olympics with Musetti, Sara, Jasmine. 
It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's like when one is winning, then the other one, they, it's like, yeah, uh, like exactly. a big team, you know? It's not one specific, it's like a, a great team that uh, for me, when I was playing, I have uh, in front of me Schiavone, Pennetta, Rani Vinci. They, have, they give me more to, to compete, you know? Yeah. And you see them and then say, okay, maybe I try, maybe I can do it also. Not at, not at that level, but uh, I think it's like, uh, you know, motivation. You yeah. know? Yeah, and what what about when I'm on the back ends like like you 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 have? It seems like nowadays there's a few players playing with the one hander, very few players nowadays. Especially, I would say on the women's side, I think it's there's only three players on the top hundred with the one hander back ends: uh, Golubic, Tatiana Maria, and Diane Barri, of course. Do you do you have? Any particular reason for that? Uh, I think on your time, uh, there were more. Yeah, there were more, more players. I think is the the fast, the speed of the you know the, the, the game. Yeah. Now it's uh, it's beautiful to see one hand back in, but maybe it's not like uh, very you know, how to say uh, not not Effective. so aggressive, yeah. not so consistent. You know, it's it's tough. It's tough to to teach, and it's tough also to play. When you play like uh, people that like they play unbelievable faster, it's difficult. So if you would play today, would you play to with two ends or one end? Always one end. <laughs> Even <laughs> nowadays? Always one end. I'm not uh, <laughs> changing. No. Okay. That's a good answer. Yeah. A great career you had, of course, the top 60 in the world, the WTA title. Is it easy for you to? Do you still like to play? Do you still like to to win I like, matches? I like, I like. Yeah, that's why I am here. Yeah. And also play some team matches in Italy. Okay. In the winter, October, November, for my my club. They're not in Milan, in Genova, but we have, uh, you know, like a second family. So I like to to play for the team. I'm not uh, that one that uh, want to play one tournament, singles tournament, but for the team, uh, I enjoy. I enjoy more. And when you play, do you miss the old times when you won titles? Uh, do you miss those times? When yes. You play, you yes. Play? I miss. Yeah, I miss. But the time is going, so <laughs> we cannot do everything. This one, this. And you only play on tip competitions nowadays. Uh, even on the world championships, you are, you don't play uh, individual no, competition. No, no, no. Just, uh, just team. And why? Then, no, because uh, it's too much. Too much for One way too much, too many matches, and then uh, the body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I need to recover it. That was a long season. I need some uh, time to relax. Yeah. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.